today we're going to be talking about harvesting and drying your lavender. So the best time to harvest it and how to dry it. Hello and welcome to Vermont Lavender. We're here in the greenhouse and it's a cool 80 degrees out in the greenhouse and outside is 70 degrees. So it's a 10 degree difference, but it's a cool, light, misty rain today. So what I would do is when you harvest this, these spikes are about oh, maybe eight to 10 inches long. And you wanna grab a clump of them. This is how I do it. Everybody might have a different way to do it. Now on this, there's these little, uh, there's the flower, the main flowers right at the top. And then at the bottom, there's these two little flowers here. You can cut below that. I'll show that in, the bit, in a little clip here. Or you can just harvest right at the very top. Okay. So this here, This here has the little flower buds right here. And that's what I, I usually go a little longer because I like it easier. It's easier for me to handle, that's why. But you can cut it right here. That's totally up to you. But this is how I do it. And so as you can see, the there is buds right here. And then there is little flowers or florets that are open. So I'm harvesting the super blue lavender variety today. What I do is I grab a bunch of it like this and I use my uh, sharp uh, uh, the flower scissors or they're really sharp scissors and I just cut a whole bunch of it and I will get the screen and show you that and I lay it out on my screen but I also label it so after I'm done harvesting I know which variety it is um, because I use them in different um, products but I also sell it I'm going to start selling them in my shop and maybe on my website, it depends. So let's get to the cutting. It's just starting to rain. I don't know if you can hear the rain coming down on the greenhouse. It always sounds louder than it is, but we still, hopefully you can hear me pretty good and we'll get to the house. So why am I harvesting this now? There's not a lot of bees or bee activity and it's nice and dry in the greenhouse. So that's when you want to harvest it. Like I said, it's raining and drizzling outside, so I would not harvest it when it's raining. That's not a good time to do it. You wanna do it early in the morning after the morning dew has dried a little bit because you do not, you do not want wet flowers or flower buds when you're drying. I'm going to cut right down as much as I can. I don't know if you I can get this in the camera. Let's see. See how long this one is? This is quite long. This is probably about oof, maybe 14 inches right here, this spike. So it's quite long. Since the honeybees are starting to come out. Oh, that's a bumblebee. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear them buzzing. Oh, he's buzzing around me now. <laughs> and then, after I'm done harvesting all the lavender, I come back and I shape it. So then it's all set and it's ready for next year when I harvest it again. And I'll show you how to shape the lavender plant so it gets the most amount of oxygen and air circulation. So grab a bunch of it and cut. And then I will show you these old window screens that are clean. Marriage gets to be about 80 to probably 90 degrees in there. This Sunday is supposed to be 90. So these will dry really nice and usually about a week. Um, Usually about a week or so they are dry and then I store them and you can also use a dehydrator or you could probably clump them together I don't do it like this but you could clump them together and you could dry them that way I like to dry them this way on the window screens and then I put another window screen on top of it 
to keep any dirt or debris off from it. And that keeps it nice and clean. That's how I do it. So there's several ways. So one way is the window screen. Another way is a dehydrator. Uh, another way is just clumping them, hanging them in groups. As long as they get dried thoroughly so you don't have any mold or anything like that. This one here has that spittle bug that I've talked about in a, another video and that's on pest and disease. So check that out if you haven't seen that video. But the next variety is the Phenomenal. And this one here, if you can see that, I'm going to grab a clump of it right down here at the base. And this is where the tops of it are starting to grow in there, nice and, and this right here is the long spikes. Okay, let's do some trimming here. perfect day to do this because it's not full sun. There is no sun. So the bees are out. And they did have their chance to get some of the nectar. That's what that bumblebee is doing. I'm going to harvest this and I'll show you the other side after. So here I have harvested the super blue variety and I have it out on my screens right here. And then I have the other one which is the phenomenal so this is how I dry it and then I just put another um, window screen on top of it just like I said to keep the dust and debris out so what I'll do right here let me back this out for you um, is when I harvest more of it I will take this and I'll keep on layering it and I will show you that so let's walk over here Past the lettuce patch and the marigolds and the radishes to another batch. So that's my ginkgo right there. This thing is three years old in the greenhouse and next year I'll have to move it. So this is the other phenomenal. Let's see if I can back that out. So that's the other uh, super blue actually lavender that I'm going to harvest and the bumblebees are already getting uh, collecting their uh, pollen and things like that honeybees are starting to come in so now I really have to get going and then I have this variety here which is really kind of cool see how you have the it's white right here and then when it's the flower buds start to open it turns a little bit purple isn't that pretty so I will harvest that variety too so I'm harvesting the buds right here and then I'm going to harvest it even though it's open and then over here I want to show you that's because of lack of water this is another phenomenal which I'm going to harvest that today too Today is the harvest day. And then this is the other lavender and see how spotty it is. But I'm still going to harvest as much as I can. And these bud these are buds right here, so they haven't opened yet. Yeah, Mr. Honeybee. Bumblebee, I mean. He's pretty busy. <laughs> okay, so let's get to it. So here is the lavender that was harvested from five different lavender plants or bushes. Let's see the honeybee. Right there. I always call it a honeybee, but it's actually a bumblebee right there. <laughs> so that is one screen right here. There's another one right underneath it. And yeah, I did harvest some mint. And another tip is to take out the weeds or mint or anything like that uh, before it starts to dry. It just makes it so much easier. This mint, I'm gonna dry that. So this is the other screen over here. Let me just get over there. This is the Phenomenal. 
has those long stems. It's very pretty. Okay, and then over here, and that's from my new plant. Now this was planted last year, and look how big it is compared to my hand. So that's in one year's time, really. I guess it would be its, its second year. And uh, the other thing, too, I wanted to point out is, see how some of the plants have, they still have these little buds, and this is the second bloom. This is what they call the second bloom. And so you just leave, it, and, and you don't really get anything or much from it. This is another screen. So I have four screens that are harvested with the lavender. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have others that do enjoy using lavender or growing lavender, please share this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me.